Uh, Andrew says, hey, Phil, why, ent why entry-level brands are making copy of Strat with the cheap trim? Will it be better to go with a hardtail and a single pickup but focus on quality? Squire did it with the Sonic series already. Thank you. Uh, Andrew, you have a, a great observation. Um, it's been made by, by a lot of people as well. There is, there is no real answer. Okay, there's no, no one knows the real answer, at least not that I've found. But there's a lot of theories, and the one that I like the most is the one I'm going to share with you. To the why, like a perfect example, um, one of one of you generous uh, viewers um, sent me an Amazon gift card to buy that uh, Squire I did a video of that every YouTuber already done a video of. <laughs> but that's okay. It's all right. I got to put my you know deep dive spin on it, and I appreciate them for that for letting me for letting me do that. But um, but anyways, the that Squire was like $120 and it came with a tremolo and three pickups and it was very good, uh, very good. In fact, so you know, um, I honestly believe it's there as a strategic business plan for Fender to combat the loss they're probably feeling from these uh, dozens and dozens of no-name brands selling on Amazon and selling so cheap. Because uh, it's a funny thing about the guitar, I don't know if I discussed it in that video, but that guitar is only available through Amazon and through Fender. So it's not something their dealers can get a hand on, hand on. So essentially, Fender's undercutting their own dealers. But I believe they're doing it because even though it's not to hurt their dealers and get sales, because I don't think there's a lot of money or any money in that guitar for them, I think it's about, um, other than they can get them signed up for their lesson program, that's a benefit to them. But I think it's about pushing back on the Fireflies and the uh, uh, Feasleys and all those uh, guitars and E-Arts and all that stuff out there. Because um, you got to handle it. you got to do it some way, somehow. But anyways, uh, the, the question brought that you brought up uh, lines up with that guitar perfectly. Why not do a hardtail with one pickup in the bridge? You know, the, look, you're a beginner. You just need sound. You don't need all the little tone positions. I believe, uh, and from my observations of doing so many videos over the years, is because the beginners aren't buying those guitars. So my point is, none of the numbers that I've seen over the years when I uh, review these inexpensive student guitars lead me to believe students bought them. I believe... I agree with you. I think most of the YouTubers I've seen uh, talk about this publicly, and of course, a lot of the viewers talk about this, uh, agree with you 100%. Uh, if you can make a $99 student guitar with one pickup and a hardtail bridge, that's the way to go, right? It doesn't need a tremolo. They're just going to knock it out of tune, and they definitely don't need multiple pickups. However, that's not who's buying the guitars. If I was going to say, and I'm just going to shoot off of a feeling, a vibe, a gut feeling, eight out of 10 guitars sold are not to beginners. So the question now would be if that guitar was refined, like you said, more, more time spent on the way it plays, less time on the way that it uh, looks, and less time on the feature set, would that still appeal to those eight who bought it? Because at the end of the day, the game is selling guitars for these guys, right? They need to sell guitars. They want new guitar players, but they want to sell guitars. <laughs> Right, new guitar players just help sell more guitars, but they really know it's an attrition game. They know they need uh, nine out of ten people who start up guitar fail. Fail is not the right word. I don't think fail is the right word. I'm not being nice to the people who tried and failed. Uh, fail is. I always tell people you can't fail because you get something from it, uh, which is you get to appreciate music on a different level. If, to me, if you try an instrument uh, and you can't do it, you have a much deeper appreciation of the ones who can. And that's on every level, whether that's you tried it and you can't play at all, or you try it and you play okay. Like I could play a couple chords, so when I see somebody, like if you try to really rip a, a solo and then then and you mess it up and then you watch somebody play an amazing solo, it really gives you a deeper appreciation of how hard that is. You, you're not so passive when you're like, oh yeah, anybody could do that if they tried. But back to the guitar, I really believe the problem is is that they really want to sell the the eight non-beginner guitar players a guitar. What I know is that um, the majority of the beginner guitars are are purchased by intermediate players, not beginner players, that are usually at a playing level above that beginner guitar level um, because um, it's something new and exciting. You know, it's an endorphin hit maybe. I'm gonna give you the three reasons I think it happens. One, first of all, we all have to be there, you know, like, hey, something new, something exciting. Remember when you got your first guitar? You wanna relive that again, right? 
So get another guitar. That's the best way to relive that. Um, another thing that happens is they want to try something, a, a try a different style of music. Maybe they have an Epiphone and they were like, hey, I want to play a Strat style guitar and they don't want to invest in it. Maybe they don't only have $100. Look, you know, and, and I've said this before, uh, this is from years of retail one-on-one -on -one experience with customers, the psychology of, you know, like I said, handshaking, talking to them. What I learned is people spend their comfort zone, not their income level. Not in this, not in this environment. Again, if you sell other products to other people, if you sell yachts to people or whatever you do, fine. Whatever you, you sell, you probably have a different perspective. But in the guitar arena, what I can tell you is guitar players spend their comfort zone, not their income level. I have, I, you know, you'd have people that made 200,000 a year coming in store and would not spend over $300. You have people that make 20,000 a year would spend $2,000. It's like literally, literally like, right? I mean, uh, you know, I can't tell you the number of times and it's a lot, it's a lot. In fact, like I told you, my wife usually is watching the show and right now she's gonna roll her eyes because she's gonna think of all the hundreds of times she witnessed this too. Do you know how many times people sat at our counter on their phone, going through their bank account, making sure that they have enough money after they buy this guitar to make it through the week? And if and then hear, you could hear them say things like, well, if I go over to Steve's house and have dinner at his house on Thursday, and and if I do, and if I don't, if I don't, if I don't drive over to Mike's and I'll save eight dollars in gas, then I can I can make this happen, right? I mean, again, I'm not judging that person. I'm just saying that's a different comfort zone than I'm not giving up my money and my savings for my retirement to buy a guitar. I mean, there's different types of philosophies, no matter how much money you have. So my point is, is that some people just want to buy a bunch of guitars and they're like, well, I'm going to buy a bunch of cheap guitars, especially if they don't, they can't tell a difference. There's nothing wrong with that. Like I said, is there a sin in the idea if you bought a hundred dollar guitar and wrote a hit album on it, who would be dumb enough to go, oh, you wrote a great album on a crappy guitar? I mean, what, I just saw an interview with Billy Corgan talking about the, his first, his Strat, when they did the first album, the pickups were so bad that they would squeal all the time. And that's where that sound on the album came from because they were so cheap. So it's kind of funny. So back to the beginner's guitar question, my, my answer official on why they don't focus where we all think as guitar players, they should focus for beginner guitars is because they're, it's really not selling beginner guitars to them. So. And that's the reality. We should be thankful though, because for a long time, a lot of companies, and I mean, a lot of companies are guilty of this, and, and I don't know what changed it. I don't know if it's just because it's so cheap to make guitars now, or maybe their philosophy changed, but for a long time, a lot of beginner guitars were horrible, not because of any other reason than they knew no one was gonna be playing guitar, and they were just, they just all about getting them as cheap uh, profit-wise as possible, getting the guitar so cheap that it was so, even though it was unplayable, just as long as there's enough profit to make a sale on that. There was no loss leader logic in entry-level guitars. Um, you know, no logic of like, if we can get them into a good guitar, they'll buy other guitars in the future. Because again, they were looking at like 90% of them not gonna ever play guitar again. If we don't make money off this nine, there's no money off the one. The Know Your Gear podcast.